You know, sometimes things happen for a reason. Sarah's just doing what she needs to do. Tim's doing what he needs to do, which is Sarah. Tim and me, we're not that different. I think he's actually a pretty cool guy. Maybe this is all for the best. I mean, maybe Tim will ultimately make Sarah and me happier. Hey, uh, Linda, right? Uh, Grace, actually. Right, uh, I'm Daniel, if you uh, don't remember. Yeah, no, I, I, I remember. It was yesterday. Well, I just wanted to apologize for being so weird yesterday. I, I, I was rude. I'm just um, going through a pretty crazy time right now. It's okay. I'm, I'm sure it's not easy, whatever it is. No, it's, it's, it's not, it's a, uh, I'm a cuckold. Yeah. Sorry. It's really embarrassing, actually. The, the kid's not even mine. Whoa. Yeah, it's a guy named Tim. He's a good guy, but still. It's... Oh, God. Ouch. Uh, I was cheated on once. Really? Yeah, it sucks. Uh, my boyfriend butt dialed me when he was with another girl. Whoa. Yeah, and I got to sit there and listen while he butt dialed her. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I think I do. Yeah. Well, um... Thanks for understanding. Oh, no. It's OK. And hey, you know, if whenever things calm down, maybe we can get that meal. Yeah. I would love to. OK. Definitely. Well, I'll see you around. OK. OK. I'll see you. Bye. The time to be happy is now. And the place to be happy is here. And the way to be happy is to make someone happy. And we'll have Today is a new day. It is time to clean house. Son, in moments like this, well, I guess you're not my son. I'm not having a son. You know what? Even though you're not coming out of the vagina I thought you were, you are going to exist. I just need to find the right vagina for the job. Maybe it'll be that vagina of that girl that I was just talking to outside, huh? Linda, right? So, I've been looking through some of your mom's stuff. Um, I found a diary, which is very interesting. Um, <laughs> this is from four days ago. Had the most crazy sex of my life with a man named Jonathan. His beard touched every portion of my body. I've never met Jonathan, but seems like a cool dude. Um, all right, this is from a week and a half ago. Went swimming in the rec center pool, met a delicious 18-year-old in the deep end, and he was delicious in my deep end. Uh, this is from a couple months back. Uh, here we go. Attended high holidays services with Daniel. I got to blow the shofar player. It's funny, I, uh, I remember that day being one of introspection. You know, the, the more I, I, I find out and look through all this stuff, the more I feel like I really did dodge a bullet here. You know, I, I think I really feel like I'm better off without it. Daniel? Oh my God, thank God you're here. Yes. I'm so yes, sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, I miss you so much. Miss you Honey, listen to me. I am going to raise this baby like it's my own. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what happened to Tim? Oh God, he freaked out when I told him that it wasn't his baby either. I mean, he is not the man you are. No, no, I, I, I don't want to hear any negative thoughts about Tim, what? okay? He's a good dude. Uh. I like him. What? Tim Jr. It's got a ring to it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> do, do you know who the father is? I've narrowed it down to five guys in Reno. Oh. I am so lucky. I am so lucky. Oh, <gasps> I'm so happy. Dear son, 
You may not be my biological son, but I'm going to be your dad, whether you like it or not. <laughs> this has been a crazy couple of days. But no one said parenting would be easy, right? And honestly, if there is one piece of fatherly advice that I could give to you that would be the most important... Little heaven right here